Hello, welcome to Knowledge of Physics. In this video, I will show you how to find out derivative of square root of sec x from first principle or from definition of derivative. So let's get it started. Uh, here given function is square root of sec x. To find out the derivative of given function, first of all you have to suppose um, y is equal to square root of sec x. Let this be equation 1 and to also suppose del x is a small change in value of x and del y is a small change in value of y and del y occurs due to del x. This means value of y changes due to change in value of x. Then equation 1 can be written as equation 1 can be written as y plus del y is equal to square root of sec of x plus del x. Let this be equation 2. Now subtract equation 1 from equation 2. Subtract this equation from this. Then we get y plus del y minus y is equal to square root of sec x plus del x minus square root of sec x here y y cancels out then we are left with del y is equal to square root of sec x plus del x minus square root of sec x now divide uh, this uh, equation by del x then we get del y divided by del x is equal to square root of sec x plus del x minus square root of sec x whole divided by del x. Now taking limit as limit del x tends to 0 on both sides then we get limit del x tends to 0 del y divided by del x is equal to limit del x tends to 0 mm, square root of square root of uh, sec x plus del x minus square root of x whole divided by del x. Okay. Now we are finding the derivative of y, y means square root of sec x with respect to x. So from the first principle of derivative, here we apply the first principle of derivative that is uh, limit del x tends to 0, del y by del x is equal to dy by dx. So this dy by dx is actually uh, notation of derivative of y with respect to x. So, on right hand side of this expression or this equation, we can replace this one by dy by dx. So, we get dy by dx is equal to limit del x tends to 0 uh, square root of uh, sec x plus del x minus sec square root of sec x whole divided by del x. Now we have to multiply. Uh, we have to multiply, multiply this RHS by by square root of uh, sec x plus del x plus uh, square root of sec x whole divided by uh, square root of sec x plus del x plus square root of sec x. Then we get dy by dx is equal to limit del x tends to 0 square root of sec x plus del x minus square root of sec x whole divided by del x times uh, square root of sec x plus del x plus square root of sec x whole divided by square root of sec x plus del x plus square root of sec x. And you know, mm, this uh, and this term is in the form of a minus b times uh, a plus b and this gives a minus b times a plus b gives a square minus b square so uh, we use this uh, relation here and so you get uh, square of this okay and square of this is square root of sec x and remaining terms are as they are and in this line you see dy by dx is equal to limit del x tends to 0 sec x plus del x minus sec x whole divided by del x times 
1 by square root of sec x plus del x plus square root of sec x okay now um, from this uh, rhs uh, you see that um, square root of sec x is independent of del x okay and uh, here if you use uh, 0 in place of del x you get this is also uh, square root of sec x and there is a plus symbol plus sign in between these two square roots sec x so you can take it uh, out from the limit so i took it uh, out uh, from this limit as this and i used an um, zero in place of del x okay and remaining terms are limit del x tends to zero sec x plus del x minus sec x all divided by del x and this term gives you two sec two times square root of sec x times and now you have to change the sec uh, function into the cos function okay and you know uh, sec is reciprocal of uh, cos so i used here in place of sec x plus del x there is a one divided by cos sec x plus del x minus uh, sec x is replaced by one divided by cos x and in next line dy by dx is equal to 1 by 2 square root of sec x times limit del x tends to 0 cos x minus after taking the lcm of uh, cos x and cos x plus del x you get these terms cos x minus cos x plus del x whole divided by del x times cos x cos of x plus del x Now let's use um, cos c minus cos t and that equals uh, 2 times sin of d minus c whole divided by 2 sin of d plus c whole divided by 2 in you know this expression okay cos x minus cos x plus del x and d is x uh, c means x and d means x plus del x okay after using th this relation this is a standard relation actually uh, you get dy by dx is equal to 1 by 2 square root of sec x uh, times and you know these factors so 1 by cos x cos x plus uh, del x is taken out from limit and uh, uh, del x is replaced by 0 here so that you get uh, this type of uh, relation so in next line dy by dx is equal to 1 by 2 uh, root sec x times 1 by cos x cos x times limit del x tends to 0 2 times you know here uh, x x cancels out so you are left with the sign del x by 2 and here x uh, plus x is there so it becomes 2x del x by 2 of sine whole divided by del x or dy by dx is equal to 1 by 2 uh, root sec x and you can take this sine 2x plus del x or divided by 2 from this limit okay after using del x equal to 0 it becomes like this and cos square x is there and you are left with a factor limit del x tends to 0 2 sine del x by 2 whole divided by del x okay or dy by dx is equal to 1 by 2 sec uh, root under sec x uh, sine 2x by 2 <coughs> cos square x times limit uh, del x tends to 0 sine del x by 2 del x by 2 okay this is in the form of uh, uh, standard relation of uh, sine theta okay it is given like this limit theta uh, approaching to 0 sin theta divided by theta is equal to 1 theta so using this standard relation here uh, inside this um, what do you say square bracket you see dy by dx is equal to 1 by 2 sec uh, root under sec x sin x by cos square x times 1 okay this whole term is 1 here and in next line dy by dx is equal to 1 by 2 root under sec x 
sin x by cos x uh, cos x cos x times cos x and you know 1 by cos x if you separate uh, this factor uh, like 1 by cos x times sin x by cos x and 1 by sin cos x is sec x and sin x by cos x is tan x okay then dy by dx is equal to 1 by 2 root under sec x sec x times uh, tan x therefore derivative of is square root of sec x with respect to x is equal to 1 by 2 sec x root under sec x uh, times sec x tan x okay in this way you can find out the derivative of square root of sec x by using the first principle of derivative i hope you have understood uh, the process of finding the derivative of uh, square root of sec x now in next slide i have this uh, work for you derivative uh, find the derivative of square root of sin x from first principle uh, try this and uh, drop your answer in the comment section below okay try this one from first principle i hope if you found this video helpful please uh, like it share it and uh, subscribe the channel we will see you in next video thank you so much for watching